Hey guys, so I have something pretty cool that I wanted to show you all that I think every radiographer and medical imaging student needs to know. Now I first learnt about this on my second placement at Sydney Adventist Hospital, aka The Sand, in 2017 from a lovely and very knowledgeable rad by the name of Stephen Grill. So shout out to you Stephen if you're watching this, all credit goes to him for showing me this back in the day. And stay tuned to the end where I'll show you my extra little spin on it so you can end up with this very simple yet very effective setup that you see here. All right, let's start off with first taping the markers. By the way, how cool are these markers? Custom made, thank you very much. I got these from Etsy a few years ago and they've been really good. They were made by this girl called Amy and her store name is PB Markers. And she was the best. I told her what I wanted, the certain size, and she made them perfectly. And at the time of this recording, it says she's currently on a break, but who knows if there's enough demand, she might come back. So go check her out and let her know that I sent you. Oh, and just to clarify, this isn't anything sponsored. The channel is way too small for that right now. I just really like her markers. Anyways, got a bit off track there. So here's what you got to do. Get your marker and make sure it's clean and that you've wiped it. Then get a piece of 3M transport tape of roughly this size. Now you can use other pieces of tape such as the Micropore or even those regular scotch tapes, but this one works the best. So once you have that piece, you want to stick it on the marker as central as possible. Place it upside down and now get another piece of tape that's a little bit longer than your first piece. Now what you want to do is place this piece over the original piece of tape, aligning it as best that you can so that you have equal overhang on each side. And once you've done that, then you want to fold in each piece. And what this does is create a little edge for you so you'll be able to take your marker on and off without tearing it and really touching the sticky side. And then you'll do the same thing for your other marker. So here's just me doing that at supersonic speed. I know this video wasn't sped up, I'm just that good. And once you're done, you're left with this really clean and easy to use set of markers that can be stuck anywhere. And it's really satisfying because it's a double layer of tape, so it feels sturdy because it's this transport tape that has a bit of stretch quality to it that you don't get with scotch tape, for example. All right, so now you've taped your markers, but where do you put them on? I see students usually putting them on their student cards or even their wrist, which for someone like me is a big no-no because -no, I've got some hair on these bad boys. So what you want to do is look for a sturdy material that you can cut out to your liking and have your markers and other little accessories attached to it, such as your login fob or your PRM, your personal radiation monitor, etc. Two things I'd recommend, the first being an old x-ray film. There's plenty of those in the department and it's quite thick and flexible for this particular use. Just make sure you take a cutout piece that doesn't have any patient information on it, okay? What I used to do is either take a film that's completely black or one of those tester films that the printer spits out once you refill it with a new set. So that's one option, but a really good other option is actually the one I use the most often, and that is that white plasticky material that comes at the back of every film container. This is really cool. It's this thick material that's very strong, but also flexible and usually gets thrown out. So I thought, hold on, could I just use this as my little accessory hub that always is at my waist and fingertips? I'll show you how to do it with both materials. And there's kind of two ways of doing this. One is to try to cut out a rectangular hole, which depending on the material can be pretty difficult, especially with that white plasticky material. So another way I recently came up with was this swirly design here where it's kind of achieving the same thing, but perhaps a little easier to cut out. So let's start off with the X-ray film. First, cut out a rough square with the edges cut off because you know it's kind of sharp. And here I'm just cutting out the film with one of the Stanley knives. Now, please be careful and take your time with this, okay? Because you don't want to end up cutting yourself and having to X-ray your own hands as a result of this. Try to make it as central as possible and it doesn't have to be too big just enough to be able to slide this holder that clips on. And by the way, you can probably find these anywhere in your workplace's stationary cupboard, or if not, I'm sure you can find that at Officeworks or something. I'll leave a link to where you can find these down below. Anyways, once that's done, you can feed in this thing which can then clip onto your waist, adding any other accessories that you want. So here I'm putting my PRM and my key fob for your login to your Riz software. All right, that's not too bad, but let me now show you this ultimate way, and that's with this other material. So same as before, you wanna cut out a rough square, or really any shape that you desire. I just happen to desire a square, okay? Leave me alone. Then try to have a little cutout in the upper middle area, and the best way I found is to just use one of those Stanley knives again and just go over it a few times until it goes through. By the way, you might need to put something underneath so you don't end up cutting or scratching the table below. You can even just use another piece of the same thing below it. Once you eventually get through, smooth out those rough edges, put on your markers and you're good to go. Now, if that's too hard and you feel like you're gonna poke out your eyeball, then you can try this other method. Just sort of cut out a maze-like path like this where you can feed in your clip 
and the rest is the same. And here's me doing it from scratch. Again, this is my natural speed, so get used to it. And that's it, you have your final product. You can clip it onto your waist, stretch it out, take your markers on and off, play with it as you will with those tabs you created earlier. All right, that's it for this one. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share what you've learned with a friend. See you in the next one, stay curious.